I blog for several reasons. The first reason um, is to be a part of community. I blog so that people back at home, my parents and my friends, can see what I'm doing, I can see what they're doing. And it, it means that they're aware of what I'm here for, that I've not been eaten by anything, that I've not died. Um, and it also means that we can tell each other about some of the good news stories and some of the sad things that are happening both in the UK and the US. One of the other reasons why I blog is that I put up a lot of my liturgy, prayers and poetry. Um, that is a way that I can put that up for anybody to use. And other people use photographs in the same way. A further reason that I blog is that I'm able to communicate some of my ideas, some of my research, something that I want other people to comment on whether I'm not quite sure about something or whether I think I've come up with a brilliant original idea that's going to transform theology forever and to be then told that I'm completely wrong. Um, I think that's one of the great things about blogging and one of the reasons why I think blogging is important. It subverts something of the academic intellectual um, ization that we have of stuff. It means that things are not copyrighted, you don't have your kind of five page photocopying. It means that ideas are out in the public sphere for people to comment and critique on. And that's an understanding that a lot of bloggers have. Once you put an idea there, it's open for people to be able to read, to comment on, agree with or disagree with. And a lot of blogging exists because of that nature of community. A community that says it's all right that we don't agree, it's all right that we do agree. Um, but what actually happens here in this cyber sphere is that we're going to talk about it, we're going to comment and we're going to see where we can go with this. I think blogging is really important because um, it builds that sense of community together. For me, it means that my community back at home in the UK is able to see what's going on. But in a wider sphere, it networks people together who may never otherwise meet. And I think blogging enables that to develop and will continue to do so and will be a significant factor both in research and in the communication of ideas in many, many years to come. Why do I blog? Two words. World domination. I mean, look at history. Think about, you know, Custer and his last stand. How many more stands might have Custer had if he'd actually had a blog? Or the Boston Red Sox didn't win the World Series till 2004. You know, that's not until the time that blogs started getting really big. So why do I blog? Well, I had a college professor tell me to, you should never stop writing. And well, I did for a little while. And uh, then one day I picked up the Seattle Times and saw this, this article about blogging on the front page of the paper. And this was maybe 2002. And uh, just read it and thought that was really neat. And then um, I came across the world of, of baseball blogging just through a, an email list that I was on. And that was, that was the beginning of the rabbit hole for me. And I started just reading a bunch of blogs. And then I was a big fan of the Seattle Mariners, and I didn't find one that I really liked, so I started blogging about the Mariners. And I did that solidly for about three years, and I got a little bit of notoriety about it, and you know, that was cool. But then I came to seminary and just didn't have time for that. Um, but I wanted to find some blogs that, that blogged about, about Christian stuff and Kingdom stuff and God stuff. And uh, I, think, I think the first one I found was The Ooze, and then I found out about Asbury Seminary's blog. And just through that, connected with a couple people, and uh, I really just wanted to keep a journal of my thoughts about my seminary life so that I could get through the, the end of my seminary and have this, this two, three year experience and, and go back and remember what that was like. And uh, that was kind of the start for me as a way of communicating with my friends and my family that I wasn't around anymore. And um, I've kind of learned through blogging that, that that song that I learned in Sunday school about make new friends and keep the old. is it's really been true for my experience blogging, that it's been a way to maintain friendships that I can't talk to uh, people face to face, and it's been a way of, of connecting with new people and meeting new people. Um, I've had several people that, um, that are friends of mine now in seminary that I first found through their blogs, or they found me on my blog first, and uh, we've been able to, to start up relationships that way and keep in contact, um, start that way, and then develop friendships from there. Um, I found my first church that I connected with in Lexington, uh, I found, I started through with a blog and I've connected with people around the region and around the area through blogs and uh, developed contacts and a network of contacts of, of people that I can go to for resources and questions and, and people with like interests. And uh, so it's been a, a really great 
um, experience for me and a, and a way to continue just the practice and discipline of writing and, and how to be a better writer and, and get feedback and, um, to, and continue that exercise. So I think that's a bit of why I blog.